Well, this is a spot of bother. So yes, as I was saying before, welcome to Overflow. A mini server that um I'm just doing with a few people. Oh well, nearly everyone's first night start out like this, right? No, probably not. All right, and this should be free wall. One, two, three. Yeah, free wall. And I need one more die. Now, I don't know if everyone has a bed because I uh, kind of forgot to use the command on the server to make it so that only one person needs to sleep. But considering we're only a really small group, I don't think it's going to be that much of a big deal. We should probably uh, try and get some more armor fast. Oh, more, more mobs. Yeah, I should try and get some armor really fast. Actually, maybe it'd be smarter to... Make a shield now. I'm gonna set down my bed in case I get surprised. Attacked! <gasps> okay, maybe lighting up the area first is a better idea. Okay, shield is definitely top priority. What? How did you spawn on a torch? This is starting to get a tad bit repetitive. Luckily, I was smart and set my spawn right here. Why are there so many? You, this is normal difficulty! <laughs> Bedrock, <laughs> you're acting more harder than Java. How did you spawn? <laughs> oh no. What? Oh no! What is going on? <laughs> Maybe I should make a little, I don't know, a little hidey hole? I'd be safer. I don't feel safe out here. Wow, that skeleton really drew there so fast. Well, at least it looks like I'm not the only one having problems with mobs. It turns out the difficulty is set to hard. That makes a lot more sense now. So my next step is to probably find somewhere where I can make a house. That's probably the best thing I can do right about now. Now, where would I want to build a house? It'd have to be in a certain biome. Hmm. You know what? I'm debating if building around here is a good idea. Because if I make, like, uh, the house over the water, don't have to necessarily worry about, um, zombies and all that. Hang on, is that desert? Yeah, you know what? Maybe making a house right here isn't a bad idea, actually. Okay, I'm gonna set up a little temporary base around here. That way we can get any materials that we need to make a house. A very rough build of a, um, base, not a house. Da da! <laughs> oh, it's very rough. But, hey, it... It will do. It will do as a base of operations until I can get the materials I need. Five chests. All right, if I fill each one of these with something uh, different, a certain material, I should have enough for what I need. So I think it's about time I do a little bit of grinding. With that little bit of grinding done, I've uh, gathered up some resources. It's not these ones, although sand was definitely something I gathered a lot of. Maybe too much of. And some random stuff, including some diamonds. I found some diamonds, enough for enchantment table, free spare, and a diamond pickaxe. But the more important stuff is in here. Enough items to make my starter base. Yes, it's time to make it. <laughs> I'm coming for ya, but you can't deny the way we close our eyes. Living alone, done is all you seeing us so gray no way. Cause you know the light and most is going so far. Where you leave me, I don't know what I'm doing. You don't love me, but I don't believe the light in the love. Where you leave me, I don't know what I'm doing. You don't love me, but I
Okay, with time lapse over, uh, this is basically what I've built. Also, yes, I do need to apologize for if it was a tad bit choppy. Um, there seems to be a movement bug in Bedrock Edition. But yeah, this is basically what I've built. Uh, it's a tad bit shorter than what I expected it to be. I mean, I probably should have built it out to here, but then again, I probably shouldn't have built it so close to the underground cave. And I'll move all my stuff from over there into here uh, a bit later on. You know what? Let's go and see if Horizon needs any help, actually. I mean, he's starting out as well. Might as well see if he needs any help. All right, so Horizon's not online at the moment, but I've been, like, trying to find his base. And I've noticed that there's some sheared sheep over here. So that means someone's came by, sheared the sheep, and ran off. So we might be close to his base, actually. And there's some blocks missing here. There we go. I knew it was around here somewhere. I knew it. I was not here. Now that I'm here, what should I do? What's he been doing? <laughs> well, I suppose I'm a little bit behind because um, literally my whole entire progress got wiped. But sheesh, just for a few days. Yes, this has been recorded over the past few days. It's not a one day recording. I thought I'd just throw that out there. But still, sheesh. Okay then, well, what should I do? Uh, I was gonna build a nether portal and place it around here. <laughs> but I forgot to bring my diamond pickaxe. Hmm, you know what, I've got an idea. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. <laughs> Either this is gonna be found when I upload it, or uh, this is gonna be found nowhere, anywhere, that this, this will be hilarious. Anyway, I suppose it's about time I head back to my bay. Hey, oh gosh, how did one, how did one spawn up there? Maybe I'll wait in here and then go back to my base. Alrighty, we should be nearing our base right about there it is over there. Now, there's something quite special I need to do. I just need to find wh wherever I put it. I must put it upstairs. Yep, there we go. And name tag. Alrighty, so what's the name tag for? Well, I got myself a wolf. Now, I'm not looking for names because I've already got a name. And that is Radar. There we go. Something only some people will understand, unfortunately. There is actually quite a fair bit to that name. That will end the first episode as the moon now rises and the sun's already set so uh <laughs> yes thank you for watching hopefully more to come and uh yeah bye